Hello and a very good evening to you. My name is Brecht, I'm the webmaster of netbookworld.be and tonight I'm going to give you a first look on, well, the new uh, packardell.m slash a. It's a new netbook from Packardell which be, will be available very uh, shortly on the market and, well, it's a little bit special in, in that sense. Well, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you. We got the review uh, test example here. I'm going to unbox it right now. So let's go. So as I should point out, this is a special review uh, example. So it's not, or it might differ a little bit from the version that you will find in the shops. So first of all, I have the netbook right here. I'm going to look at that in a minute. And inside the box, as you can see, there's no uh, actual manuals or re uh, recovery data or something like that. Of course, because of the fact that it is a review example. So, what we've got here is the extended battery. It's an 11.1 volts, uh, 5200 mA. So, well, I presume this will give us a lot of power and an autonomy of at least, I presume, of, uh, five, five to six hours. But that's something we'll have to test, of course. Furthermore, we have the power brick. And, well, it seems to be an extremely small one. It seems to be even smaller than the one that you get with the Samsung NC10. Something I'll show you later on. And then this is just the cable for the power brick. Okay. So now let's look at the netbook and just well go around at the top. So first of all, uh, it's a very nice netbook. Nothing uh, to say about the design. It's really great. Feels really sturdy. No weak hinges or something like that, uh, no heavy screen, something we saw uh, with the MSI Wind U100. So uh, at this point about the design I'm really enthusiastic. Uh, the keyboard is a full-sized chiclet keyboard, something you find on the uh, MacBooks, and the Sony Vios, etc. And it feels really natural, feels really great something you can easily well type on with, with your ten fingers. Of course the preview example I've got right here is a QWERTY. Didn't uh, receive an Azerty version from uh, Packard Bell, but I'm very grateful that I have the possibility to test it. Now, in the front you find a normal sized uh, touchpad, but the great thing right here is, well, this little sticker here says it's a multi-touch, multi-gesture actually touchpad. So, in a sense, it's a sort of a multi-touch uh, touchpad. The power button—that's something you might be a little bit critic about. So, uh, it's really small and it's really into the top of the housing. So, well, those are details. Uh, furthermore, if we go around the device, uh, in the screen we have a built-in microphone, we have a webcam, so the normal standard accessories, and of course a brilliant 11.6 inch screen with an HD resolution of uh, 1366 pixels on 786, so that's really great. And, well, the uh, only thing that I'm not very enthusiastic about it, it's a glossy screen. That's something, if you want to work outside, you don't need a, a, glossy, a glossy screen. Furthermore, it appears that this netbook will only be uh, available using Windows, because there's a specific Windows mark, Windows logo, on the keyboard. So, a little bit, well... It's a shame. I think this would do really well with Linux as well. And on the top, 
nothing special, just a small logo for, of Packard Bell. And on the side we have uh, the traditional SD card slot, uh, which supports uh, a number of formats, but, uh, well, it's great to see it, but it also supports XD, Memory Stick, and Memory Stick Pro, so that's, well, way to go, Packard Bell. The traditional uh, audio out and audio in. You have two USB ports on this side and a Kensington lock to uh, well, to secure your netbook. And of course a traditional D-sub uh, ex uh, exit to connect another screen. Then if we turn it around we have well, uh, 10 100 Ethernet port, we have the power supply, ventilation and another USB port. Now the real surprise for me was, well, when I just looked at it a few minutes ago, so we have uh, the battery connector, but if you look just next to that, we can find a built-in 3G SIM card slot in here. And well, let's connect it right now and check uh, the boot time. So This is one of the things I'm not too happy about since well, if you see the design of, for example, an, a Samsung NC10 has a great uh, built-in battery, it goes, well, about five to six hours, it's a six cell battery, and well, you can only see it on the bottom being uh, somewhat of a bulge, while with this Packard Bell, which is actually a notably uh, bigger device, the battery is bigger still on the exterior so as you can see that's something well I'm not too happy about but well it will cope. What's great on the back side of this device is that you have several access ports so you have access ports to do the hard disk the, the memory slot so you have uh, an access port for the 3G slot so it's just great you, you have major access so if uh, they don't limit your warranty in, in swapping these items out. This could be a highly customizable netbook, which is great seeing the, the, the higher resolution of the screen, the all over feel, which is great, uh, and well, the fact that it's has, it has an extended battery. The One of the very special things about this, as I said earlier, it's running an, an AMD processor. It's an AMD Athlon L110. Uh, so that's not your, your custom Intel Atom processor, but well, what I, I just booted it up uh, a little bit earlier just to test uh, this device, and well, it's, it seems to be doing the right thing. It, it seems to me that this, this processor is, is really a great choice for for netbooks this size, it's well. Let me just show you. Let's boot up this device. So, well, I'm going to press the power right now, as you can see. Here we go. Now, the funny thing is, this one is running Windows Vista Basic, and well, this is to my experience, this this one is booting really fast for uh, for a Windows Vista based netbook. So, this is, is well, it's great, as you can see, it's loading up right now. Of course, as we all know, Vista isn't the fastest OS around, so the choice for Vista Home Basic was, well, the, obvi the obvious one. Furthermore, the screen appears to be really great, really bright, and the resolution is just, well, it's just the right size to have uh, an easy way to work and still have enough uh, screen real estate just do do your job. This is the audio coming on, the logon screen, and here we are. So as you can see, it's really quite fast. Of course, well, it still is Vista, and I would have preferred a Windows XP option, even being a Windows XP Pro or something like that would have, would have been great, but as I can see, uh, Vista is running really great on this one. I'll have to do some more testing and I'll have to get back to ASCP with another video or two. But my first impression is, well, it really looks uh, like a great innovation, a really great netbook. 
sturdy, uh, great usable keyboard, no uh, limitations uh, or of any sort. It's, it, I'm really enthusiastic about this one. I think this one will be a big hit among the, the most uh, netbook users and then even for the business market this seems like a great choice. So we'll get back to, to that in one of the next videos and of course on the website netbookradle.be uh, where you'll be able to read a full review on this very very fine netbook. More tests coming soon. Get back to you later!